Greifswald nuclear power station was decommissioned in 1990. The deconstruction of the four Soviet-produced 440 megawatt reactors began in 1996. A Danish company that makes windmill masts has since moved into what is now a commercial estate opposite the plant. Their masts are for wind parks in both the Baltic and the North Sea. Henrik Hansen is head of engineering at the company, where production has been up and running for a couple of months. Actually, my first impression was that uh, an old atomic uh, power plant, uh, it's, what is, what is that? But uh, anyway, I, I think and uh, that, uh, that we are in, uh, in, in uh, German and I know that they have uh, good uh, facilities and they have good uh, safety issues and uh, therefore I'm not afraid. When it was in operation, the plant's engine house was some 800 meters long. For years, it looked like this. Over the last decade and a half, the parts not contaminated with radiation have been systematically dismantled, producing 1.8 million tons of scrap. It's a long, drawn-out process because every step of the way, the building parts have to be checked for radioactivity. Machine parts that show low levels of radioactivity are kept in a purpose-built interim storage facility. They remain there until levels drop low enough for the parts to be thrown on the scrap pile. The extremely dangerous radioactive fuel rods have to stay here in special containers for at least 40 years. Where they will go then remains unclear. And that's only one reason why so many people are opposed to nuclear energy. In Greifswald, anti-nuclear sentiment is strong. The Green Party says that dismantling plants in Greifswald and Rheinsberg is much too costly. The temporary facility and deconstruction of two nuclear power plants has so far cost 2.4 billion euros, and we haven't even finished yet. Another 87 million euros in federal funds have been set aside for the next 10 years. The company responsible for dismantling the plants is Energiewerke Nord. They did not want to be interviewed on camera about their work. But Nukem, another German company that specializes in dismantling nuclear power plants, was more forthcoming, saying it has around 80 million euros of annual turnover. And managing director Uwe Kutcher claims the market is growing. When man weiß, dass, um Given that more than 100 reactors began operating before 1980, and given the technical lifespan of between 30 and 50 years, it's fair to assume that there will soon be a large market for decommissioning nuclear power stations around the world. Back in Greifswald, many of those now employed to make windmill masts once worked on dismantling the nuclear power station. Benno Christoph is a foreman here. Is he afraid of radioactivity in the area? You always have the feeling that something is there, but that would mean the whole region is radioactive. But I assume the containers where things are stored are safe enough and that we're not in danger. As the new windmill masts are shipped out to their destinations, the deconstruction of the old Soviet nuclear power station in Greifswald continues, but the problem of dealing with the waste it left will take generations.